Ultimaker Cura is a powerful 3D print preparation software available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. In version 4.0, we've redesigned the user interface to make preparing 3D prints even easier, whether you're a beginner or an expert. When you open the application for the first time, you will be prompted to select a printer. Let's use the Ultimaker S5. Ultimaker Cura will check if there are any available Ultimaker printers on your local network. A networked Ultimaker printer is the most convenient way of working as you can synchronize your configuration and send print jobs across your network. We'll enter the main interface. Let's take a moment to get familiar with it. There are three separate stages. Prepare the print in the first stage. Preview it to simulate the printing process and monitor print progress in the final stage. In the top right corner, there is a button to sign in with your Ultimaker account. An Ultimaker account lets you send and monitor print jobs from outside your local network and back up your settings to the cloud for access on any computer. Let's sign in now. When you've signed in on a networked Ultimaker printer, click Get Started to enable cloud connectivity with Ultimaker Cloud. A quick access button to the marketplace makes it easy to add functions to Ultimaker Cura with plugins and to download pre-configured print profiles for third-party materials. An Ultimaker account gives you exclusive access to every material in the marketplace and the ability to rate plugins that you've used. Let's prepare a print. Click the Open icon to open a 3D file. STL, OBJ, X3D, and 3MF files are supported natively in Ultimaker Cura. But for now, let's just use an STL. Orbit around the 3D viewer by right-clicking and dragging, or use the quick camera controls to choose the preset camera angle. Middle-clicking and dragging pans the camera. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out, or swipe up and down with two fingers on a trackpad. To highlight the model, left-click it. You can use the adjustment tools to move, scale, and rotate it as you like. The Move tool lets you position your model on the build plate. Move the model by dragging it, or by inputting specific X, Y, or Z coordinates. You can also lock the model in place if you want to prevent it from being moved. Scale the model with the Scale tool. Drag the handles to scale manually, set a specific size in millimeters, or set a percentage of the original model size. If you want to undo any scaling changes, simply press the Reset button. Rotate the model with the Rotate tool by clicking and dragging the rotation hoops. Snap rotation is enabled by default. You can hold Shift as you rotate to disable snap rotation for precise control. You also have an option to lay the model flat or to reset the model to its original orientation. Mirror the model along its X, Y, and Z axis using the Mirror tool. If you prefer, you can quickly toggle through these four tools using hotkeys. Right-click the model for additional options. Center it on the build plate, delete it completely, or multiply it as many times as you need, useful if you want to prepare a batch of items in a single print. The Prepare stage has three collapsible panels, Printer Selection, Printer Configuration, and the Print Settings panel. You can display or hide panels with a single click to keep a clear view of your model and easily access your settings when needed. The Printers panel shows that we are preparing for a print for the Ultimaker S5. We can add another printer or manage printer profiles here if needed. The Configuration panel shows available configurations. If you're using networked Ultimaker printers, the material and print core configurations are automatically detected and displayed here. All we need to do is select one. Let's use Tough PLA and PVA. The Print Settings panel lets you define the printing strategy. In Recommended mode, you can adjust the most common settings for your print. The remaining settings are preset for you using an expert configured print profile. If you want complete control over the process, you can switch to Custom mode, which lets you configure over 300 settings individually. In this mode, the panel becomes resizable, so you can keep as many settings as you need visible on screen. If you hover the mouse over individual settings, a tooltip will appear, which explains each setting in more detail. We'll use Recommended mode for now. Adjust the sliders to change settings. We'll use a layer height of 0.2 mm and 20% infill. This model will print better with support. Let's enable it. PVA support material is loaded into Extruder 2, so we'll select that. Keep Adhesion enabled to improve the bond between the first layer and the build plate for better print reliability. Now we're ready to slice. Click the Slice button, and Ultimaker Cura will prepare the 3D model for 3D printing. 
When slicing is complete, an estimated print time and use of material will be displayed in the action panel. Hover over the eye icon to see a detailed time and material specification. Click Preview to move on to the next stage. The Preview stage simulates and verifies the printing strategy before 3D Print starts. The Layer view opens by default. Use the Layer slider to easily preview a specific layer or layer range. The Path slider simulates the printing process of the selected layer. Click the Play button to show the print simulation. The Layer view has multiple color schemes to visually represent your printing process. Material color, the line type, feed rate, and layer thickness. When satisfied with the printing strategy, hit Print Over Network to send it to the Ultimaker S5 to start 3D printing. The action panel now guides us to the monitor stage. View the live video feed from your printer's camera to stay updated on print progress as well as jobs that are waiting to be processed in the print queue. Print jobs have a thumbnail preview for quick reference. If you are using a group of networked Ultimaker printers, you can monitor the status of other printers in the group here too. That's it. We've prepared a print in Ultimaker Cura 4.0. Thank you for choosing Ultimaker.